Linda. Today I'm gonna do another Halloween tutorial, but I'm not gonna do a creepy one. I'm gonna try to focus more on doing a beautiful, colorful skull, which is actually a challenge for me because I think skulls are quite hard to do and it's so cool to see all the amazing artists online that are doing skulls and they are amazing. So I'm gonna challenge myself today and I'm gonna do a skull. I hope you like it. Let's go straight to the tutorial. I'm gonna remove my brows. I'm doing exactly the same as I did in my last tutorial. So if you wanna see how to use soap on your brows to kind of remove them, you can go check the link below. I'm gonna cover my face in Creolon Super Color Grease Makeup. I think it's called just white or something, I don't know. So now it's time for the painting. So what I'm, what I usually do when I paint skulls and stuff, I actually look at pictures online. How does, how do they look? Cause right out of the blue like this, I have no idea. Skull makeup. Okay, oh wow. These are so good. Let's start this. So I'm always starting with, with the bright colors first and then I'm gonna go in with the shadows in, for example, black and brown and gray and all those shades, the darker shades afterwards so it's always easier to do the bright shades first and then if you want to go in with deeper shades to make everything look more dramatic it's possible to do that after I'm using the white color again. And this is so hard because I'm more used to doing abstract things. So this is actually quite a challenge for me. God, I don't even know what I'm doing. I seriously think this is so difficult. Let's do the mouth then. I'm doing red on this side and I'm doing blue on this side. This is so uneven, oh shit. And as I said in my latest video, I always go back in the end to, just to shake out the last things and really do the last touches on the makeup. I always do that last. I did some of the painting on cam because it would have been taken forever otherwise. Now what I'm doing is to create more shadows. Okay guys, so now when I have the final structure of this skull, I feel like I can be a little bit more free with the painting. First of all, I'm just gonna do the nose because I totally forgot about the nose. It's gonna be green. To fill in some of the colors, I'm gonna use NYX Ultimate Brights palette. Always when you use a powder on top of... Uh, oh my god, <laughs> on top of a crayon, they become more long-lasting and that is what I'm doing right now. If you're gonna do it on a Halloween party, for example, it's always better to use some kind of base underneath to make sure that it will stay there for the rest of the... The rest of the night. Actually, I am going to let you know when I'm done. So 
So now I've really been painting a lot and I feel really cool. <laughs> it took me forever to do this though. To make this look a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna use Zao, the crayon. Sorry, I'm just gonna move the camera a little bit. Uh, and I'm gonna fill in some places that I haven't, that aren't filled in yet. So because this is shimmery, it's gonna give more life to the skull. So sorry for not talking so much in this video, but because this is usually what happens when I create something. I get really, I get really, really quiet. I don't really like to create when there's people in the room. To make the metallic pop a little bit extra, I'm gonna use collision from the Metallic Mysteries palette. Oh, something yellow on that brush. So the mailman casually came by, knocked on the door, and I was like, oh no. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I look like this. He was like, uh, okay, uh, but you are Linda, right? I'm like, yeah, I am, I guess. <laughs> Actually, this came in the mail. Oh, I don't know, this is so hard. You know what? Let's just pretend that I painted my ears black and my neck. All right, this is the final look. I am actually pretty happy how it turned out. And as you saw, you don't really need any makeup, like special effects makeup or anything. You can just use things you have at home. And that's what I like about it, that you can just be creative on Halloween, that you don't have to do the creepy and greasy and all that stuff. You can do other things that looks really cool without being scary. I think it's a nice look, right? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again next time. Bye, you guys.